All right, hon, I have an eighth inch auxiliary cable. It's like a headphone cable splitter here. Rumor has it, if you plug an eighth inch into Nigel's head, you can hear what he's thinking. So put one in, put one side in your ear. Okay. You know, I need to plug. Put in. Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new Lush Life video. I'm your host, Leon. I'm joined here by the illustrious Mrs. Lush and Josh the Slithery Snake will be <laughs> sprinkling on that magic. We got a little game show here today, hon. I'm excited about it. I, I didn't, get to participate in you the get, game yeah, show? Yeah, you do. Well, it's it's not like a part game show we're playing. We're watching other participants. Kind of burst my bubble a little bit. <laughs> Sorry about that, but I just found out this thing existed a couple days ago. I didn't know it. It was aired between 2010 and 2015. The host is none other than the legendary smut peddler Jerry Springer. It's called what? it's called baggage. Have you heard of it? No. Let's start with Brenda. Did this ever actually air on television? I oh yeah. Always crack my wrists, neck, feet. And knuckles. It's not bad. That sounds like it could get annoying. <laughs> so it aired on the Game Show Network. It was very popular, actually. It was like one of the most popular shows on the Game Show Network. What? But let me give you the premise, all right? Okay. It's like a dating show. Contestant comes on. There's three potential suitors. Sure. And they all have three embarrassing pieces of baggage that they have to bring to the table. Each okay. one, it gets progressively worse. There's a small suitcase, a medium size, and a large one. Got it. And as the show goes on, they have to reveal each one, and then he makes decisions based on that baggage and what he's what he can handle in a relationship, right? And the contestant has their own serious embarrassing thing that they have to reveal at the end, too, once they pick somebody. Hmm. You understand? Yeah, I'm just curious how serious these Yeah, well, we'll see. It gets worse. I, uh, the, I watched a quick clip earlier, and the, and the last one was pretty bad. Oh. It was like, one of the guys was like, I've been arrested for indecent exposure three times. <laughs> the, girl was, the girl was like, yeah, nope. <laughs> See you later. You might not want to read Yeah, that, I just, he just likes to pull his prick out in public parks. Big deal. What's he also problem? happens to have a micro penis. <laughs> oh, no. Well, how would people know if it was indecent or not? <laughs> yeah. It's probably just a warthog. Sorry. Well, as long as she's not cracking nuts, you're okay. <laughs> hey, Jerry. Oh, God, the jokes are so Wait, bad. I thought you were actually laughing. I'm like, you thought I was serious? <laughs> no, I don't know the, you anymore. The boomer jokes from these shows are just insufferable, and I love them the crowd cheers. Yeah, Jerry! Except for this girl right here. She's like, yeah, okay, Jerry. Yeah, yeah. Nice try. She's like, God, mm -hmm. I can't believe I paid $50 to sit in this audience. Well, it's just a bad habit I do every day and night, and, you know, I get nervous sometimes. Like, right oh, now, that's her? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. You yeah. get to see them. No, no, you get to know who you're looking at. See, please reveal oh, your baggage. Well, that changes things. Yeah. Whoa. What? What? <laughs> Bro, that would be my baggage. Relatable. You me and her. Like we're four. we're literally a perfect match, me and this woman. Oh yeah. <laughs> Your baggage would be I always sleep over twelve hours. Yeah, twelve I'm hours. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Eleven and a half normally. <laughs> nothing wrong with getting sleep. I'm just trying to There's I'm trying to cope with, with my I'm trying to cope with my own inefficiencies in life. My God. Oh my god. Instant cut. She's gone. She's gone. Psycho. Of shoes. Psycho. I mean, 30, hey, I love animals, especially dogs. Yeah, but you're a psycho, see ya. I mean, you're hot and everything, don't get me wrong. Hey! <laughs> He's like, I'd smash, but you're probably crazy. I like to bring something home for my chihuahua, Monroe, too. Oh my god. Is there any surprise in that it's a chihuahua? No, it's not. I'm a real That's life a small one? runaway bride. No, I think this is round two. Oh, so I forgot to tell you, for round two, he doesn't know who each one is. That makes more sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as the rounds go on, then they go in the back and sit, and he has to choose the baggage before knowing who it's attached to. Bag number two. Um, it's definitely the Chihuahua lady. It's that See, one. See, I was thinking purple. You think purple's a runaway so, bride? Yeah. No, tri psycho Chihuahua ladies just can't, no. just can't handle no. commitment outside of her dog's outfits. No. <laughs> I have no female friends. Dude, that is such. Oh, I'm sorry. That could be an issue either because, what well, you know, she has no friends at go all. Go for it, Jerry. She's always with other guys. There you yeah. go, Jerry. Nice. Bag number three. Jerry's like number the one. Jerry's an epic slut shamer, dude. Because I mean, yeah. he, you know, 20, 20 years on. <laughs> Having no female friends is such like a. Oh, I'm a quirky girl. I'm different than other girls. Characteristic. I used to know those girls in high school. Who were like, I just don't get along with girls. Me and the bros, you know. Mm. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. It's just an interesting, interesting thing. I use my Damn. vibrator four times a day. <laughs> is that baggage? Yeah, that's what ah. I'm saying. You're wondering whether this is baggage. Is that really? Yeah, I mean. 
All right, now I might have to switch it up. That might be crazy chihuahua lady. I think it is. Yeah, I feel like she's using the vibrator while she's picking out outfits for the chihuahua. Yeah, she's getting so much from her vibrator that, that you are not necessary. Right, exactly, exactly, <laughs> yeah. Well, Which... let's be honest, you're a man, you're not necessary. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Tell him, Jerry. Wow, Jerry. Your second piece of baggage here, I have no female friends. To me, that just, that's a big red flag. Sounds like they really need validation from guys. I, I need to be the only man in my woman's life. I don't know about the only. That's a little, uh, that's a little insecure little, sounding, yeah. if you ask it's me. It's a little weird. It's okay for her I to have... I think it's normal to have, you know, a handful or whatever, a mix of guys and girl yeah. friends. Sleeping around with them is fine, whatever. No? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Is your deal breaker. I think it's the, uh, what's he gonna the choose? The female friends. He's gonna choose. Yeah, he's gonna choose Jerry the female, female, female friends. He can't handle that. He's too insecure. The runaway bride. Wow. Really? Like, how do you know? Maybe she was in like an abusive relationship or something. I told really? You. I called it. No. Oh, they switch it up, damn it. Oh. Okay. Wow. Okay, I'm very surprised by Purple lady, we have the vibrator for Damn. Damn. She's sitting there all smug, like, I yeah. know, yeah. She's like, I'm c right now. It is time to pack up and go. Oh. Please? Well, you missed out. Did we, though? All right, well, finding consecutive clips on YouTube is impossible because of the way these are orchestrated, so we're just hopping right into... You left me in a total cliffhanger. Don't worry about it. Listen, it's about the individual pieces. It's not Mal's about the result. We don't get, yeah, screw those women. They suck. I love geeks. The smarter, the better. Here we and go. seem to be better in the bedroom. Geeks well, better in the bedroom? Really? That is the antithesis of every stereotype <laughs> ever, dude. Yeah, so... The An editor from Miami. Give it up for Jose. An editor? Oh my God! An anti-bully instructor from El Dorado, California. I'm sorry. Yeah, you heard it. I'm sorry. Uh, don't, no. don't go there. <clears throat> Let's hear it for Dean. Uh, you want a good way to get bullied? Be an anti-bully instructor. Anti -bully instructor. <laughs> Did I just read your mind? <laughs> <laughs> oh God. I still Bro, play with hell my yeah. Transformers. I mean, that's in, like a total like you'd expect I that from a nerd. I write my ex's numbers on bathroom stalls this for is revenge. Stupid. I mean, that's lame. I was rejected from. All that what? means is your shit don't. That's swim. what I mean. All that means is you have a bad sperm count. It's like a genetic thing more than anything. Yeah, like. Oh, but that is baggage because, like, maybe that means he can't have kids. So, like, if you're thinking about a possible suitor. Yeah, it's not like. A definite, but no, sure. true. I needed some money, and, and I thought I'd do something that I enjoyed doing, so I went there. What do you enjoy doing? <laughs> World you of know, Warcraft. Have yeah. a little, have, if I yank one out nine times a day, I might as well get paid for it. I have a pet scorpion. Watch out for that it's little bad. prick. It's not bad. Yeah, it's it's kind of badass, honestly. Homeless people sleep okay, that's on bad. My How do you feel about that one? <laughs> that's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit... Ow. She's not... I went window shopping for sex in Amsterdam. I mean, everyone who goes to Amsterdam does that. That's a thing? Yeah, in the red light district. They literally have women who, like, stand in the windows. Like mannequins? On the street. No, like actual women like, who oh, stand there. to just pick one? I don't know. I've never been, but I've just heard the stories from my friends that have. I've never been. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. I went window shopping for sex in Amsterdam. Wow, okay. Really? You that insecure? Like, my... Oh, just, uh... Sampling a little bit of the Dutch culture. There you go. Did you see any dykes? Uh, no, in Amsterdam. Jerry. Oh. Well, two tweets remain. Gentlemen, <laughs> it is time to reveal Jesus, your Jerry. biggest piece Here we go. of baggage. The third one. This one's better. If they better. don't show the outcome of this, I'm going to be full. I was the 30-year-old virgin. Mm -hmm. I was looking for the right person. Good I for you. I don't believe in just giving myself to anyone. I mean, that's sweet. I think sex is dirty. She ain't going to pick I him. I love sex. I just am a very hygienic guy. I don't like the messes. I like to like keep myself somewhat clean. What? Uh, and in her original words, geeks are typically better in the bedroom, right? Eating those words right now. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Sorry. Jose. Clean guy. You have yeah. Too much bye bye. Baggage. Bye bye. I think sex is dirty. Way to go, Nate and Anna. Oh, look at that. 
Oh, oh God, he went right in for the ballroom dance? Did you see that? Like, he didn't even go in for the hug, he went in for the ballroom dance. Hold on. Look at him. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Dude, she was oh, going in for the hug and he went in for the ballroom dance. What's oh, yeah, we gotta see what's wrong with the yellow dress. I don't drive a car and neither will. Uh, I'm sorry, what? You gotta go. <laughs> like, <laughs> Did you Where have, do you live? I was like, yeah, I'm obviously in the city, and she takes the metro. But if you don't want to drive a car, I'm cool. But you ain't telling me I can't drive my car. I'll tell you that right now. Is she like an environmentalist? No, she probably has like gotten in an accident when she's younger, and her boyfriend died or something dumb. Let's find out. I'll ride my bike, take public transportation everywhere, and I want to be with a guy that values the environment. Oh, you're Not right. That package. Whoa. Did he say like, I yep, do I sold my car. Did he say I do accept that baggage? Yeah. Of course he does. He just wants to smash and then she's out. I cannot accept that baggage. I cannot accept that baggage. Driving taking public transportation home while he drives his ass to McDonald's for a post-sex french fry. <laughs> <laughs> I just want my boyfriend to be an environmental. Hello, electric cars, bro. Somebody that's ready to travel, intelligent, kind. Yes. But mostly. Huh? Somebody that can keep up with me. Oh my God! Ooh. Is that is that not the exact like the go to like phrase by any like woman over fifty? I just need a man who can keep up, right? As we all know, dudes, testosterone goes to zero after thirty, and they all just like sit on the couch covered in potato chip grease. You're just describing yourself. <laughs> Damn it! I like to scream in bed. Oh yeah, right there. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I'm about to kill. I've been oh yeah, that's the clip. That's unbelievable. Oh, no. I've made money as a hell yeah. Year. Damn, these are some serious things. I've been charged three times yeah, for indecent exposure. He really put himself out there with that. That's so I mean, crazy it's to weird. me. It's weird. If you're like comfortable putting that out there on a gaming show, like what else have you actually done? Exactly. If that's like served like skin level stuff. Please reveal yes. your baggage. I was engaged <laughs> to three men in one year. That's I was intense. ready. I'm sorry, Meredith. Whoa! But I'm afraid that's a little bit too much baggage. Oh. Really? Wow! Wow, my man was just on there for the clout, dude. He didn't want Meredith from the get. How do you even get to the point where you know someone well enough to want to be engaged in the course of a year? Never mind three people. Oh, She's got crazy written yeah. all over her. Oh my God. Je oh, good. I make jewelry out of my own teeth and skin. You don't like my callus collection? No way. Well, there's no reason to throw them in the trash after you No, them. that's not real. Is that? <laughs> Every time I work with my hands, I develop these little calluses, so I cut them off with a little exacto knife and thread them on this little bracelet. I'm into this chick, dude. You know this chick brings the heat to the bedroom, probably, right? All day. And supinate. Donate and supinate. What do you do to keep in shape? 40 ounce curls, baby. 40s? <laughs> My girl drinks 40s? Man, she is a barrel of laughs, that one. Well, that's the, that's baggage. How did you like it? Um, I, I could definitely see myself continuing to watch more episodes of it. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah, God. Jerry Springer on brand with the occasional kind of like bigoted joke and just you know classic jerry and thanks for watching along we'll see you in the next episode of whatever baggage. bag yeah <laughs> watch life watch his baggage peace